we just set everything up. Well, I mean, it's not done, obviously, but I, this is the first day in the new studio, so you can catch it in the other phase. But so I'm gonna, I'm actually going to have footage of Wolf 10's studio. You're the first person. Well, I, was just, I haven't even taken a picture of it and posted it anywhere yet. So you are actually, you are literally the first person. Thing. Even me is like, I haven't posted anything here. Yeah, so. All right, well, I feel special now. <laughs> All right, well, I've got everything ready to go, so let's get this unpacked. Cool. Okay, so... This is your cable, don't I have it yet? This is your extra keycaps. It's the heaviest. Oh, it is really heavy. Yeah. You wanted the one with the brass weight, so... I wanted... Uh, I don't... I don't... I completely forgot how much this was. <laughs> but I know it was a lot. Ooh. I don't think I've ever felt a switch before. Why don't you tell everybody what you're using now and what switches are inside? Yeah. I have a Keychron K3 at home. Uh, it's got it, it's uh, low profile and it's got uh, reds in it. After I got that Keychron K3, we have a video where we put a bunch of different switches in that little mix box control that I have because I've all of a sudden grown an obsession of using uh, uh, keyboard switches for gaming. But then you started to get me really hyped up about actual keyboards. And I needed a new keyboard, and I wanted this setup to look nice, so I was like, we might as well just go balls to the wall. And I like the color scheme matches. I'm glad that it does. This right. is awesome. Yeah, I made this desk mat to go with this keyboard. So I, th nice. I think we Looks did a nice. very good job. Very nice. I didn't want to peel them off until I got here. Wow. So this is the brass plate that's making it heavy? Yes. Okay. Pretty much. There is also a brass actual plate inside it holding the holding the switches in um, to give it the sound profile that it has. Oh, it's USB-C? Yes. Wow. Which right. then comes this guy. Why don't you go ahead and open that? Oh, that's okay. ridiculous. This is a little much. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> this is like so much equipment, it's just a keyboard. And the funny thing is, is like, so what most people I think do with these types of USB-C cables, I actually don't even have a coil cable myself, but you know, you can keep this thing, this part plugged in, mm -hmm. and then get different, you know, oh, I see coil pieces for the front. So you can swap out your keyboard because yeah. you, you have like a billion keyboards. Exactly, especially if you want the colors to match. This is this is not the thing that keyboard nerds like, right? <laughs> the light, the people, light part. <laughs> listen, some people really like their RGB, and it's funny. I'm, I'm the type. Of, I don't ever have my RGB on, but when I'm looking at a keyboard and I'm looking at a PCB, I'm like, there's an RGB version. I should probably get it. <laughs> like this is all red right now. Oh, yeah. oh, so I can change. How do I change the color? Hue. So, yeah, hue. That is R to go down. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go through the color. Like a nice blue. There you oh, go. Yeah, blue. That's very great. So you're also on a setting. I'm noticing, like I'm noticing when you hit a button. Yeah, the bottom it's changing is changing the color. Something. Yeah. So you got like a nice cool white now. But every time I hit a button, it's gonna it does like a red underneath. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Now should I do should I do the monkey type? Yeah, try monkey type. This is not a sentence. <laughs> No, there. Do you want to? You do you want to do one that sent the census? No, I don't. How many words can you type? Uh, I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> Sorry. So we bring. That's no, all good. Man. <laughs> let's see. Wait, wait, wait. What's the score? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> One away, just one away, Bob. One away from. Oh, uh, <laughs> so this now, is this is it's it's like it's it's so quiet. So now what I want you to do is tap the around the space bar, yeah, from left to right. That, How even that is. Yeah, it feels very even. 
Was that? Was I worked, that? I worked very, yeah, I was, very hard. I was on gonna that. say, is that like I worked weeks of engineering? You're right? gonna, you're gonna see in the video once I post it that that did not feel like that when I originally put it. <laughs> you showed me when you were showing me your keyboards at my apartment. You showed me that, and I was like, oh, I like the rattle. Feel that rattle? Yeah. So when you lube your switches and your stabilizers, that disappears. I like the rap. Oh, really? And you were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of cool. I like slapping the, slap the space, man. <laughs> oh, gentle. I'm gonna, I'm going to be. Gonna, I know, I know. I'm gonna be mean to this thing. Let me look at the extra keys that we have here. So, Cherry Profile Keycap, something to remember is that the rows are made like every key for every row is a different shape. So, you gotta just make sure that you're putting them in the, the right spots. Okay, so these are top row. Yes. yes, yes. I see, I see, I see, I see now. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm understanding. I don't remember what I want. I, I, I wanted you to advise me, really. Yeah. I like my uh, Keychron K3. It's like, it's like good, you know, I, I And like, that has the reds in it. And that has the reds in it, yes. But let's be specific, that's a low profile. I'm profile. sorry, that is a like low profile switch right. board. Okay. Right. So Which also feels a little different to begin with. Right. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It feels clicky, but you you told me the click that I felt was it bottoming out. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> bush now compared yeah. to this. Exactly. And, and there's still a click, but it's not. And well, that's why I. Well, what you're feeling is the bottoming out, because they're low profile. You're feeling a very quick bottom out. So uh, I. But I also want, like, I, I'm gonna be doing a lot of typing, but I also want it to be pretty good for gaming too. I don't know if, how much gaming I'm gonna be doing here, but. Uh, yeah, because well, I, I, I started to fall in love with these types of switches in game controllers, so. So the question that I asked Bob was, because he, he what, are, what is in your game controller? I think we put Kalebox Jades in theirs. Yes. So we have Kalebox. We have the Thick Clicks. Yeah, so we have the Kalebox Actually, Jade Thick I Clicks. Navies. Navies, that's what I have in my, I have, I have those in my B-Box. I have low profile Jades in my other one that I, that I remember I made the, the 8-Bit Do one that looks like an NES. You got low profile thing. jades? They make those? Apparently. But Bob wanted something that is good for gaming, but also is his like daily driver actual keyboard for typing. It feels like so like buttery. Buttery is the word. I just want to keep pressing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, oh, see, that is the beginning. That is the addiction. <laughs> do this, do this. Oh. Damn. Yeah, keyboard's a little slippery, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you know this level has the beanstalk in it? You can, you can warp to the next yes. world. So that's, that's the slow way to do it. Oh, really? If you, okay. go, if you go past that part, I'll try to, you know, I'll, I'll do it this little way first. So you hit that. Mm -hmm. If you if you go past that part though, there's this little guy right here, and you go in here, and it takes you here. Okay. But we're gonna break it. We're gonna break the game. If you get here quick enough, the game doesn't know which part to load, the beanstalk or this. Wow. So you warp to the other part. You see when Mario runs. When he hits a certain part of the screen, the screen starts scrolling. Yeah. And he doesn't move part, past that part of the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we want to do is trick the game into getting Mario to like here. Okay. And you can do that. So the way you do that is you rub his butt on the walls. What? Ah, oh, I didn't rub my butt. <laughs> like that. Wow. So now. Wow, what the heck just <laughs> happened? I am playing through Ocarina for the first time right now. Are you really? I am, uh, I just got past uh, Jabu Jabu. Wow, so what do you think now? <laughs> now? I'm glad I'm getting this on film. What do you think now, now that uh, you're going through it? It is, uh, it's a really good game when you're doing things to progress the game. Exactly. But when you don't know what you're doing, it's, Miserable. I know, miserable I know that that was your original beef with the game, that there, there are parts where you just don't know what to do. And I totally... Yeah. Well, listen. now I'm playing on stream and I have chat basically telling me what to do, but chat is right 50% of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you gotta kind of be like, wait, I don't know, that's right. Um, but no, it, it, it's a much better experience when you're actually 
when you're actually, it should be a linear game is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I just want to say, Bob has admitted that Ocarina of Time is a very good game. It is a very good it's a, game. It's the, it's the best not. game. It's the best game that's ever come out. I did that. Anyway, the keyboard's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only other keyboard I've had that was nice was the Keychron, and this blows it out of the water. I'm going to go home, and I'm going to type on the Keychron, and I'm going to be like, damn. <laughs> Got to throw this thing in the trash now. All right, Bob. Well, I'm glad that you enjoy it. I'm glad. Thank you for, for doing this for me. Absolutely. I, I, I appreciate it. I hope you had a good time doing it. I did. I did. And I might get, make one, build one something, maybe not the same like colorway, but I might, so this is a tofu, the case, I might do a, a tofu kit. It feels nice. How much did I spend on this? Um, I want to say it was like around three to four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> How am I gonna feed my family? I remember, and I remember a few months ago. Yeah, I'm not like a keyboard guy. You used to say in the videos, like, oh, no, I'm thing. not one of those keyboard guys. Thing. I was like, I'm, I'm not one of the keyboard guys. I want a nice custom keyboard, and then you uh, you were gonna make it, and I was like, well, if you're gonna make it, and you're gonna make a video out of it, we gotta make it like, like, yeah, crazy. Yeah. And uh, here we are. And we wanted to make something, you know, just for any keep enthusiasts out there, we wanted to make something that was available. There's obviously like things that are crazy prices. Like the case itself is like $700. There are cases like that, but you have to wait for the group buy. Once you buy the group buy, you have to wait like eight months for it to be made. And I didn't want to do that. I was like, obviously, I'm sure you didn't want to do that. I was like, let's make something that feels great for the right price range that looks good, that matches your color I mean, scheme. this feels perfect. Yeah. I feel like we didn't really cut any corners. Yeah. This is like- We did it, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> what I say, when I holy modded this guy, <laughs> that, took, uh, that took a while. 